Um, but we got a theme going here with black superheroes that may not be black or they may be something else. Bro, I, I didn't send you this twice. Did you read that article about He-Man? About He-Man being black? Nigga. Did Kevin Smith turn He-Man black? Is that what we about to get into like a week from now? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a week from now? I think so. I think so. Hey, look, we can watch. I'm about to get see. your replacement <laughs> for Loki. <laughs> we can watch it and see. You go, you go come to the next show with uh, stole wash jeans and a motherfucking <laughs> black Bart system shirt on. Nigga, you know why? You know why I fucks with uh, one of the few reasons why I fuck with Netflix because they getting fewer and fewer. Is that they release all their shit at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> like, I could watch three episodes today if I want to. Right, get that dopamine. Ah, ah, ah. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna go into all the details, but like, uh, but see, this the article is crazy because the the CEO of Netflix is like going on Reddit and like shitting on like fans. Talking about, yeah, we don't give a shit about creating new black characters. No one gives a shit about that. So we just retroactively turn he mans grandfather from white to black. You turn this nigga from a slave owner into the biggest black slave in the fucking nation? <laughs> like, this shit doesn't make any sense to me. It's hard for me to take this as, like, canon. Not that He-Man and, you know, logistics ever made sense, because it's an 80s cartoon. There aren't any 80s cartoons that actually made sense. Um, that's why they were made in the 70s and the 90s. But yeah, I, it's they're turning, they're going back and retroactively turning He-Man's grandfather uh, into a black man. But isn't Prince Adam and Tila, aren't they brother and sister? Tila? No, Tila is man at arms, dog. Prince Adam is Prince Adam and Shira are brother and sister. Okay, so now you're telling me, so right now you're telling me Shira is essentially Paula Abdul. Is that what we're doing right now? Shira and <laughs> Shira and He Man are our brother and sister, I believe. And then it does. Okay, okay, okay. But are Prince Adam and He-Man related? Like, I know they're the same person, but are they related? Seriously, seriously, right? Because, like, She-Ra isn't related to anybody else in the show, right? But is she as the princess related to He-Man or Prince Adam? Because she doesn't look black at all. Unless they're going to they gonna re-black her? Well, She-Ra she and He-Man have their normal alter egos, but they both have, like, swords that make them turn into their superpower selves. This shit's confusing, bro. This shit's really confusing. Give, I don't really give a shit. Um, the CEO of Netflix said we don't give a fuck about nigga characters, though? Yes, it's in the article. That's what does it, like, that's you know he how you read some but okay, but you know how you read some shit like from the onion and they be having shit that like they'll the you know it's coming from the onion, so you know it's on some bullshit. Right. That's how this article reads, but it's not from the onion, it's an actual <laughs> legit article. That's for so that's, bro. But if he said that, that's fucking nuts, right? <laughs> it's just fucking nuts. <laughs> you can't be the CEO of Netflix and be like that shit was trash. Who cares a fuck about nigga characters <laughs> today? Like that's what I'm saying. Like it would be a complete uproar if it was legit. But I don't know, man. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. Like. People get all twisted and turned about these black characters, man. I don't know what's the problem. Like, it's not like we all look alike or something. Like, my God, man, my God. Well, they, you know, shit. When they, the black characters they make, they all look alike. 
Kwame from Captain Planet looks just like Blade, looks just like Killer the Black. The dude Bro. from the Magic School Bus. Like all the black people, black characters look the same in their eyes. You and know how many times? Why the fuck? Okay, since you brought this shit up, you know what really fucking pisses me off? We got you mad, son. Nigga, I'm mad about this. Tell them why why is it whenever there's a black character, right? They got to do some shit with some electricity. Like, we, like, there's so many, uh, like, nigga, I got, you know the project I'm working on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got, t- no, no, not that one. This is another one that I've been working on that I, that I started and I've dusted it off and I picked it up. I have developed, me and this other nigga, uh, my guy who passed away recently, we had, we have developed characters who had legit cool fucking abilities, like real shit. Why every black character? What the fuck is with this electricity shit? We either really strong or we do some electricity shit or somewhere in between. Like, come on. It doesn't take that much to come up with a unique character and have him be a black person. Right? Black shouldn't be the thing that defines him. Right? He should happen to be a black person that can do these cool fucking things. I don't know why it's such a big deal, but they always make these static shots. Black lightning. Like, this shit goes on. Why the fuck is niggas always fucking with lightning? What the fuck is up with that shit? Like, there's so many other things we can do. I black Vulcan, this. black lightning, and static shot are all DC, by the way, too. All of them. But, but that's what I'm saying, though. Like, like, I mean, it's like we get the throwaway powers and shit. And Storm, who, yeah, okay, in the MCU, uh, you know, she's considered one of the the what, peak powered, whatever you want to call them. But it's still lightning. That's some other shit. <laughs> like, come on. Like, this, so, like, man, like, for real, bro. Like, for real. <laughs> Why is it always lightning? Why is it always lightning? Somebody answer this question for me. This shit really fucking irritates the shit out of me, man. That I believe it's it's an inside joke to say, hey, we all look alike and we don't understand you. Because, like, if if lightning, no one has, like, a complete, uh, like, of all the elements, no one has, like, a defined depiction of lightning. Like, it is, it's got a certain base that everybody sort of just moves from, but sometimes... It can grant the guy super super speed. Sometimes it can grant him super strength, the super devastating power. But it isn't always. And, and, and you know, like my man Static Shot. Remember, he didn't get cool till like Michael B. Jordan said he was gonna hang around with him, because this nigga used to need to be near carpets and rugs and shit to get his shit going, like get a lather going and shit. Like when we was growing up, you remember that? Like, mm-hmm. like it wasn't just like he could generate the shit on his own. Yeah, I, I, we're watching white people. We got some shit for you. Trust I just, me. I just don't. I just look. Like, I seriously don't understand why. I mean, we we always get these throwaway abilities. Even like, like when a character has the opportunity to be really fucking great, like they get these throwaway <laughs> fucking abilities. Like even with and I love Miles Morales. I love Miles Morales. But why, why, why he got to be like a mixed ass nigga? Like he can't just be a regular black dude. He got to be Puerto Rican and black. And Puerto Ricans are black, nigga. Like, come on, let's be realistic about this. <laughs> but he got to be Puerto Rican and black. And then he's like mentored by the white dude. Like, come on. Like, and I love Miles Morales. I love spider man stories. You know spider Man is one of my favorite dudes. But come on, man. Like, seriously, like... And you know what I hate? The racist white fanboys that have an issue with with black people wanting real characters created and not having some shit regur- regur- like redone, regurgitated, whatever. Like, I-, I forget, there was a fucking article about Magneto, Denzel Washington may possibly play Magneto. I was like, why the fuck would he play Magneto? Make another character that's worthwhile. Magneto's yeah, this- character is fucking worthwhile. Magneto is his own person. Magneto has to be white and he has to be Jewish. Right. That's the whole point of him being who he is and why he turned out the way he turned out. Right. You can't yeah. make Magneto a black Jew and think it's gonna be the same story. Yeah, but you can sit there, but you can sit there and you can come up with other characters, man. It's not that hard. I've got 
I kid you not, I got 10 characters that are already fully fucking de- developed that when they ready to come out, they're going to come out and they're going to be a bunch of niggas, you know what I'm saying, rubbing their hands on the carpet to make their powers kick off. This shit that is bullshit. ridiculous. That bullshit. This shit is ridiculous. There, there was even, that it's funny shot. you brought up the... <laughs> You brought up the uh, Denzel Magneto. Remember, um, there was a moment uh, Juan Carlos Esposito, it was real talk about him being doomed. Like, a lot of, like, that was starting to gain some steam. And at first, because I'm a fan of both, because, you know, Juan Carlos has been a, is an amazing actor, like, been around probably just as long as Cheeto has. But, he, you know, when he was Gus in Breaking Bad, like, that's, like, top three of my favorite characters of all time. So when they said he was going to be Doom, I was with it. But then I started thinking about it and, you know, the story and Liberia. I'm like, this is all, you know, third block European. This shit ain't going to work. You'd have to change everything contextually about the character. Just doesn't. If you try to replace... Latveria with uh, Lakewood, it's not going to work. It's just not. It's not going to be the same. So, um, no, nah, it is It is lazy. And then even when we get the OP, you know, decent characters, there's always, like, a color connotation in front of them. Case in point, uh, Blue Marvel for the, for, for, uh, the, the, for MCU. Like, why can't he just be the Marvel? Or a, in a completely different name altogether. Like, why has he got to be Blue Marvel? Like, because he's a nigga, you got to point that out. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's, it's, it's small little shit that they either don't give a fuck or they think they being funny about. And I swear to God, I'm going to slap the shit out of a white boy if he ever tried that shit in front of me. Like, because it pisses me off every time. Like, the lightning is the shit we see. But there's small little shit they do with every black character that you just know. It's been, a, it's been that way since fucking Thundercats, man. Niggas knew that was the grandfather as soon as we heard him. As soon as we heard him. And then he, the biggest, <laughs> baddest dude out there, he the darkest cat, and he got the, he got the trashiest fucking weakness. I'm afraid of bats, B. I don't fuck with bats, y'all. Thundercats, ho? No, not in that cage. Nuh-uh. No, I'm good. I'm going I'm to I'm watch the Thunder Tank out here. Y'all got it. Ho. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Go ahead, Lionel. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. I go on all day about that shit, but. So if, <sighs> if He-Man is black, if they make He-Man black, it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Like, it's, it's crazy to think that He-Man might be black. And it's crazy to think that the CEO of Netflix actually said what he said to a group of fans on Facebook. Like. That's the insane part to me. That's the funny part. But uh, I guess we'll find out in a week. Yep.